Welcome back to Car Chats with Film with Amy and Anna. I'm Amy. And I'm Anna. <laughs> and we actually can do it in time. Yes. Oh my god. If you're an audio listener right now, run straight over to visual mm-hmm. if you want to see us sitting in the same room. <laughs> A novel idea. Yeah. <laughs> You can find us on Instagram, TikTok, threads, all that good stuff at Car Chats F1. And you can buy us a coffee if you want on buymeacoffee.com if you want to support the pod, if you like the pod. But yeah, it's been Australia. It has. It has. This morning. So it was around, what, 18 hours ago at this point? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> it's 9.15 Sunday night yeah. in the UK right now. And it was at 4 a.m. I mean, I didn't get up for it. No. no. <laughs> See, that's if I got up for it. This time last night, I was asleep. Yeah, I was actually about to say, I... Mm, what? You were? I fell asleep before 9pm last night. Oh my god, no. I was just, I was watching the F2 feature race accidentally. I didn't mean to stay up that late. And then I was like, well, I may as well put it on. And then I like got engrossed. I did fall, I did fall asleep, so like, luckily. For me this morning, I went over to my parents' house and watched it with my mum. And nice. that was great. Had a little, took a little coffee over and we watched it on record because we can't watch it on replay here. Oh, so, yeah. Uh, I was like, mom, you can record it, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that was great. And it was nice to watch it together. It's the first race we've watched together since Abu Dhabi, which we watched oh in person. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually didn't even get to watch a race with her. My brother did. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> How did you watch it? Um. So, like I said, I was asleep before nine o'clock last night. Um. <laughs> You can probably tell by my voice, but I'm not very well. <laughs> Hopefully I've got, like, the nice morning raspy voice <laughs> sounding. <laughs> and not the ill <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, so I was just, yeah, I just was absolutely dead. I woke up and I was like, I was kind of hoping that I was going to wake up in time to watch the whole race before I had to go to dance. Yeah. And I was like, I was caught by seven. And I was like, oh, Chris, I'm just going to look at the result because I can't wait till after dance and, like, not find out. Like, I'm going to find out. And bef- and just as I was about to look at the result, I saw that I had, like, a WhatsApp message that was, like, four hours ago or, like, three hours ago or something that was, like, Max is out. And I was like... Must watch whole race. I'm watching it. I'm watching it. I'm watching it. And so I went on the, like, Sky Girl on my phone to try and see if I could watch it on replay on my phone and then I realised that half seven they were playing the like one hour long highlights, oh, highlights and yeah. I was like Chris get up get your ass downstairs now we're, we're putting highlights on so I like showered got dressed whatever like within like 10 minutes ready for dance and then I went downstairs and put highlights on and then we watched like all the highlights um, which was great because it was basically the whole race yeah. <laughs> like the hour long highlights are the only literally only cut out like the laps that like have nothing going on Yeah. so yeah, we literally like, watched it. And of course, so I'm getting ahead of ourselves, but so I obviously knew that Max had DNF'd. No one had warned me about Mercedes. <laughs> I wish I'd had I... some inkling that it wasn't going <laughs> to go well. <laughs> yeah, I really would have just rather not seen it. Yeah, oh. I was on such a high after the <laughs> Max DNF. <laughs> I was like, finally, finally. And then like, Oh, I can see Five that. minutes later, yeah, Lewis and I was like, "Oh, I watched it as if it was as if it was live." I didn't yeah. know the results. This was at like nine a.m., but we like I didn't know anything. Like my whole phone was was off. Yeah, and um, so it was all an actual shock for me, as if it was as if it was live. <laughs> but I mean, I guess we'll, we'll talk through it from the beginning because I mean, mm-hmm. you guys wanted us to talk about basically everything because we asked you <laughs> on our question sticker on Instagram. Just in case you guys don't know, you can uh, follow us on Instagram and we will ask you what you want to see from us. But when when we did our question sticker on Instagram, people were literally just like talk about like this, 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 and this, which is essentially just the whole race. Mm-hmm. So we're like, don't worry, guys, yeah. we got you covered. The whole thing. Um, but I mean, we, and we also have F two covered as well because I really do yes. want to talk about that. It's been it's been a hell of a weekend in general. <laughs> the whole weekend. The whole weekend. I mean, it it half feels like that there wasn't a race weekend because it was all over before yeah. we'd wake up. Yeah. It like it would stop after we'd gone to sleep and it would be over before we woke up the next day. I was literally saying this to Sam about how like it's so wild to me that this is how like half of the world live if you're an F1 fan. Yeah. Like, if you're an Australian F1 fan. It's so like European really... centric, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I was like, oh my God, this is how the other half live. <laughs> like, in, in a negative way. Yeah. <laughs> but I was, I, this is one of those times where I'm literally like, yes, I love that it's Eurocentric. Yeah. Like, I just, I couldn't, I just couldn't take it. I was like, 
if this was like this all the time because I really have it with the NBA and that's like enough like mm. you just feel so out of the loop because you can't like keep up with everything and I was just free practice obviously couldn't watch that in the middle of the mm-hmm. night and I was just watching the like free practice highlights because it's been really busy in work so I was like you know what I'm just gonna like watch the highlights or whatever I went to lunch with my brother on Friday and he was on about um oh first of all it was my dad that was saying about something about Max's floor like getting displayed to everybody and I was like oh you mean um Alonzo when they changed his floor when yeah they were like in turn 10 or whatever and then my brother was like no Max like you call yourself a fan like <laughs> how do you not say I was like well it wasn't in the highlights and then he was like oh. and I was like I'm busy and he's like yeah you call yourself a fan I don't even know about Red Bull wow that's, that's like so, so embarrassing for you and he's like taking the mic I'm like shut up you don't even watch something like half the races <laughs> I get up I literally will, like willingly will drag myself out of bed at, like 6am yeah. to watch all these races and you're shitting on me <laughs> but no it's so that's what like I said all these things were happening mm-hmm. it was like Every obviously Alex crashing his car into the wall. Um, mm. that happened, and it was just when they show it in the highlights, they literally just like show it like immediately like go into the wall, and you're like shit, and then that's like it, and yeah, that's, like, the whole highlight, and you're like wait, wait, yeah. But that was obviously a whole thing that happened, and I fully understand Williams's decision. Mm. I think it's sad, but at the end it's of the day, sad. like, I mean there's like a that's one of the teams where there is an obvious number one driver or there should be an obvious number yeah. one driver really even if they say they love them both equally kind of thing <laughs> it's like that tweet that's like we love them both equally and it's like uh, alex Albon in a massive frame and then logan Sargent like yeah. stuck to the wall next to the frame <laughs> it's yeah like from william's point of view i totally get it it doesn't make it any nicer for logan no, I mean, it <laughs> um it's like so hard because like I've seen people obviously be like oh this is so like not fair for Logan it's totally gonna knock his confidence and then on the flip side people are like if his confidence gets knocked that easily he shouldn't be a Formula One driver Mm -hmm. and it's like and also imagine the pressure Mm -hmm. if he were to be the one that was chosen to go out and he did bin it yeah then everyone would be like see it was it should have been Alex yeah I just I feel like it's just like two sides of the same coin like people should be able to accept that it's gonna knock his confidence and also accept that he can still be a formula one driver do you know what i mean like (laughs) i I just don't uh, yeah i it's because they're going straight to japan and like they didn't have the spare chassis so it like makes sense like maybe if they were going back and it was like okay logan go ahead like you know what i mean yeah go give it your best shot but i mean it's just it wasn't a good weekend overall for Williams. No, not, not, not at all. really. Bless Alex up on his birthday. But the one thing I will say about his birthday, that cake. The cake instant with the fan zone. Uh-huh. When he caked that girl. Have you not seen this? Oh my god. Immediately. I'm trying to think about how to even uh, find it. I think I might have seen this actually. You probably have. I mean it was I like... got confused because it was also Ted Kravitz's birthday and he got oh. caked on, on Ted's notebook. Oh I didn't see and that. So you say about the caking today, I was like, how does this relate to Alex Albon? Because it was Ted Kravitz oh, getting cake. Oh, this one. Have you seen this? I have seen this. Yeah. So he cupcakes a girl on the face. It's on the Williams page. She guys. looks so happy. <laughs> Look, he gives. <laughs> it's her. It's her guttural scream <laughs> when he gives the hat. That'd be you. It'd, it'd be me. It'd be me. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, if he were to turn around and like just put like cake me in the face and then put a hat on me. <laughs> dream. <laughs> oh oh god. god! I didn't realize that Ted got. Ted got caked. He, he did indeed day. get caked, and then he was walking around for like five minutes with just like the stuff on his face. <laughs> Bless his heart. It was his fiftieth birthday, so happy fiftieth <gasps> birthday. birthday! And it was really cute because he was walking around doing his notebook, and it was like Martin Brundle and Crofty came up with the cake. Oh, <laughs> adorable! That is cute. Happy birthday! <laughs> Hope you had a good a good time out in out in Oz. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, I mean. I guess moving slightly on from uh, free practice, free practice. I guess it's Quali. Quali was like just as expected. Yeah, for me, especially because of what happened with 
I know we'll talk a little bit more about Hamilton, but especially because of what happened with him almost getting knocked out by Beerman last week, I really wasn't <laughs> shocked when he was knocked out in Q2 this week. Uh, I, w- I wasn't shocked, but it wasn't for that reason. It was because he just didn't do well in free practice either. Yeah. I just I just expect more from you, Lewis. Yeah. I expect a Q3 every now and then. <laughs> what I don't get what's happening with Lewis is he's like saying, he's praising George and being like, George is getting the most out of the mm-hmm. car. He just seems like a bit done. Like, yeah. Where he's just like, I just can't get more out of the car. And I'm like, this is not the attitude that like he's previously given. No. And I mean, I understand like I have no idea what it's like to drive that car. So, you know, <laughs> I really do not have an opinion on this. Yeah. Like I don't have a right to have an opinion. But at the same time, I'm just like, this is very different. He's giving a very like defeated, like mm, Yeah, I get what you mean. Like with the car, he's just kinda like, I can't do any more. And it's like, well, maybe you can. <laughs> maybe you can. Maybe you, you should be his performance coach. <laughs> Maybe you can. <laughs> I should be like, I should be his motivational speaker. Have you ever thought? Maybe you can. <laughs> Maybe you can get more out of it. See, again, this is one of those really crap takes where I am not an F1 driver. So mm. I have literally, I'm a fan. <laughs> fan first, fan first. <laughs> I think it's interesting just because Quali last year, they were literally even split like 50 yeah. percent to either they of them. were the most even team yeah so it's interesting that now george is like completely dominating but we're three races into a 24 race season yeah so it could go completely the other way you know like we have no clue but yeah it is a bit strange that lewis just can't get on with it but yeah I think he's made the right decision to go to Ferrari because his this the seat he's replacing just won. So yeah, which is a whole other thing in itself, isn't mm-hmm. it? Talking bit about science and that seat, and I don't know. I still think that science should move on for Ferrari. I don't know. Mm. I, I I think it is a- anyone who's like, have they made the wrong decision? Um, it was never. They're signing anyway. Lewis Hamilton. They're signing Lewis Hamilton. He is the biggest name the sport has ever had. I'm sorry, like, yeah, Senna, yeah, Schumacher. He is literally the biggest name this sport has ever had. He, like, is F1 and he, has yeah. been for, like, the past 15 years. Yeah, he has brought so many fans to this sport. Yeah. And, I mean, like, I think P1 said it on their podcast this morning or maybe yesterday, but because they get questions all the time about, do you think Ferrari made the right decision by signing Lewis and all this? And every time <laughs> Matt Gallagher's like... Did you see the stock price go up? Like when they announced the Lewis... Lewis to Ferrari. Yeah, like that says it all really, doesn't it? Yeah. Their stock went up crazy. Like, I just, I, I think it's the right thing to do because obviously that when people are like, oh, like they've been the wrong driver. I'm like, do you seriously ever think in any, any scenario they were ever going to get rid of Charles? <laughs> because like he is literally, I mean, as well as being like il predestinato, yeah. he is literally like, Italian he's basically yeah. Italian and he is like not only is he a good driver who consistently podiumed for them like he's been on what like the past like seven out of eight podiums or something mm. and so like he is not only like consistently podium for them last year and stuff yes yeah, science won the race but he's like very you know good with it yeah um he also is what Danny Rick is to Red Bull is yeah. like what Charles is to Ferrari where mm-hmm. he is if nothing else he is like a media machine or yeah. like he is very well loved you know what I mean like yeah. if nothing else which you know isn't saying that Danny Rick isn't a good driver as well because like he obviously drove very well for Red Bull yeah Charles can drive very well for Ferrari so I think the whole argument of oh they've been off the wrong driver is just mm-hmm. completely not there they're all great drivers yeah. every F1 driver is a great driver but I think science I think obviously he's been pinned for that move to Audi already in 2026. Mm. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. But wherever he goes in 2025, I think it's going to be going to be interesting. I think it's going to be good. I don't. I don't know. I mean, he's already been linked to the to a Red Bull seat. So yeah. which seat? Who's seat? Who's seat? Well, seat? considering <laughs> they pretty much announced yesterday that Max is staying at Red Bull till 28. I think we know who C it might be. <laughs> my favorite thing about Quali, like regardless of like everything else, my favorite thing about Quali is when did you see Max's post Quali interview? 
when he was like, he just looked so happy. He was like, surprised myself there. <laughs> he genuinely was like, well, I actually didn't think I had that in me. And I just pulled out. And I was like, the fact that he's happy with that, you know what I mean? He wasn't just like asked another day in the office. He was like, yeah, that was pretty good, actually. That was pretty sick. Sub, sub, what was it? Sub 116? Like, <laughs> he was like, yeah, actually, I did a really good job. Just and it's like, fair enough. Fair enough. I know Charles wasn't super happy with his quality performance because no. he posted about that today, saying that that's what let him down. But. Yeah. Uh, the first time in like eight races that he's not on the front row. And it's when Max... he would have won. So. <sighs> and I said this to you earlier, but it does make me laugh the way that Carlos said, I would have really loved to be fighting with Max for like, mm. P1 if he like didn't have that issue. And I have to be real and say... If he didn't have that issue, I don't think there would have been a fight because Max. Carlos was like, "I overtook him on track, and that's that's on God. I overtook him on track." (laughs) He's like, "He had no issue when I overtook him on track." Max is actually like from lights out. It was like I was driving with the handbrake on, and Carlos is like, "Mm -mm, "On track, on track, written written right here, right Mm -hmm. here, stayed here, on track." Yeah, (laughs) I mean. Before we knew that Max had an issue, that was crazy. Yeah. Seeing him overtake on track, because I was like, that Ferrari has so much pace. I was like, you know? <laughs> when, when Max, because Max like, got away. Yeah. Like, and then it was like, oh, signs to stay within DRS because yeah. it's like the one lap. And I was like, this is what they brought this in for. Yeah. This is the Max Verstappen rule. You know, they brought this <laughs> yeah. in for him. Like they say, oh, it's because of the people that came before him as well. Oh, yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's for Max. <laughs> and give, give credit where it's due. <laughs> and um, I was like, oh, yeah, surely it's. You know he's got away now. Whatever. Oh, mm-hmm. signs in DRS. Maybe he'll get. And then all of a sudden it was like, oh my god! They literally. Oh, it was like, oh, 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 science is near him. And then it cuts. He's going past him. Yeah. Like, and they were like, thirty mile an hour Max? quicker than Max. Yeah. And you're like, Look at that Ferrari. Oh my god! It's got so much pace. Oh my god! And then you just see smoke coming out of Max. Yeah. And you're like, oh, and they were like, oh, it's the engine. It's the exhaust. It's the suspension. They're like going through everything. <laughs> and I was like, I think it's the tire. And it turned out to be the brake. Yeah. <laughs> but it was um. Alpine tweeting. <laughs> yeah. That was probably my favourite tweet from the what whole What was the actual tweet? They said like, a tweet. Double Max Verstappen overtake or something like that. Double <laughs> overtake on Max Verstappen. <laughs> that Alpine social media person has to be having fun at the moment. They have to be. Yeah, they have, they have, have to, to be. be. They have to keep the moods mm-hmm. high in that cab. When they were like, Pierre Gasly's doing so... Sorry, I know we've jumped forward to the race yeah. now, but I mean, I think that's everything we probably have to say mm-hmm. about Wally. The commenter's saying, oh, Pierre Gasly is doing so well. Mm. And and then it's like, yeah, he's doing like really well. And then all of a sudden I was like, why is he in 17th again? And then it's just like, oh yeah, Alpine finished below, below Sauber, <laughs> who had like Bottom 50 ass. second pit stops. What was going on? It was that rogue wheel net rolling across, <laughs> like after they, like they, they were like, oh, a successful pit stop. And then it's just like, just a rogue wheel net running across. Oh, and I was like, what was that? Oh, no. Um, what was that? Bottas. <laughs> Is just always unlucky with these pit stops. Oh, bless his heart. He like keeps his spirits he doesn't high deserve well. this. He doesn't deserve this. He was also, he's Australia's sweetheart. He, yeah. <laughs> oh, it genuinely breaks my heart. I just can't believe they not fix the problem. I don't know what is going on. And they were like, it's a fundamental design flaw in the car. Yeah, Ted Kravitz was saying like, yeah, they've just been told to take it easy or something like that. And I'm like, what do you mean take it easy on when you meant to be doing a sub two second pit stop? Like, <laughs> just take it easy, guys. Just, you know, in your own time. Yeah. <laughs> They're like me putting the legs on this desk. <laughs> Are they doing it with a manual screwdriver? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Uh, at least they can see the car coming into the pit lane. Mm. At least there's that. <laughs> oh my God. But I just, I... I mean, I guess we're going to have to talk about it at some point, so we may as well talk about the double Mercedes DNF. Well, I mean, we'll talk about Lewis first. <laughs> George, we'll, we'll take our time getting to George. Uh, like I said, I, I had no forewarning of this, so... No, well, neither. But... I felt like I'd been transported back to 2021. I have fond memories of that season up until the end. Uh, <laughs> and I was like, we're finally back with a... Max and Lewis DNF, but That's nothing bad. could nothing could have prepared me for George. No, no it was it was the way I saw it. I saw a tweet that was saying um about the salt. What was it? Sub, I was like, what salt eyes? Where is? It? I need to find it now. Oh my gosh, I saw this. 
Um, I almost put it on our meme. The drive thing. to survive crew right yes. now, creating some weird storyline that Max and Lewis DNF because they are soul tie that was yeah. forged in 2020. I almost put this on our tell you what, out of context thingy on uh, Instagram. It's <laughs> gonna be a there's gonna be a fanfic about that. That would be hilarious. I really now want to go, go to like Wattpad or something and try and find if there is like some kind of people written it like in the stars, soul tie, invisible string theory about it. That'd be that'd be quite funny. <laughs> I'm literally. I'm gonna try and. Find if you that can this think week, about guys. it, there's a fan fit. If you can think about it, there's a fan fit. Mm-hmm. If you can even think about it for a split second, there's a yeah. fan fit about it. Even if you try and not think about it, there's a fan fit about it. <laughs> <laughs> but oh my gosh, it's I. Oh my. With, speaking of George, though, we were. I was watching it obviously with mm. with my parents and Sam, and you know George was hunting down Lonzo, all of this. I was like, I oh, can't get it done, and I literally was going to say just don't do a Singapore like don't just get no, mesmerized with this rear end did it. and then I was like oh and then instead I said it about science I was like because science was like I'm losing the tires oh, yeah, and yeah, I was yeah. like imagine if science like bins it and it's like Leclerc Norris Piastri podium that would be mm. like insane I mean it was insane that science I'm not yeah I'm not anti- <laughs> by the way guys like, I'm not anti-color science I do like color science I'm just saying that would have been crazy um and I um and I so I, I almost said it and then literally about probably about what 10 seconds later this is me again, guys. You did I it. I did it. I did it. This is this is the Kevin Magnuson in the wall situation all over again. This you I've need done to this keep your mouth times. shut. But I did keep my mouth shut, and it still happened. You thought so about it. I thought that about was it. Too much. It was too it was much. too powerful. <laughs> and I literally was like, oh, as long as he doesn't end up in the wall like Singapore, and then it literally just cuts to his car flipping. It didn't cut to like, cause, oh, cause you didn't watch it like as if it was live. Yeah. It literally cuts to his car like rolling yeah. rather than like him like, and they're like, oh, and I thought for a second, you know, the bit of debris that comes off, um, that he like moves like part of like, the oh, yeah, 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 I yeah. thought it was his arm. Oh and my I, like, God, because his, gloves, because his gloves are bright blue. Yeah. And I literally was like, <gasps> thinking his arm was like mangled around the steering wheel. <laughs> And I literally was like, shit, like shit. Like, and I literally was there like, George, 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 please no. And it was it's scary though, him being in the middle of the track. Oh my gosh. The the radio, the radio. of him makes Just, me literally like have heart palpitations. It makes me feel, it makes me feel a bit sick. Yeah. It's, I can totally like feel his like. The panic. Yeah, definitely. Let me just play it, play it for you guys. It's horrendous. If you haven't seen it. So this is the onboard from George's crash. Literally, I, I listened to that earlier after I had coffee when I went away at the toilet. <laughs> and I literally listened to it like this because I was like trying to like, I was like dry my hands. Yeah. And I was like trying to start like this. And first of all, he's like, right. And I was like, shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, that's a hard, you can feel like I said the panic. Because mm. pan- it happened in the F2 race, because we will talk about F2 as well. In that F2 feature race where we had, uh, who was it? It was Matt Drive. Who, well, I don't know, somebody, anyway, on the same corner, I'm pretty sure, somebody mm. spun out and they were in the middle of the track. Yeah. And there was a massive dust cloud around them. And I was like, it was like last shit. year. I was like, yeah. It, on, With honestly, Alex last year. Yeah. I literally was like that. Oh, it really, that got my like heart going last mm. night watching that. And then um, seeing that with George. Oh my God. Like you said, you can hear the the absolute that is probably like the worst sort of crash where like you are stuck in your car yeah you're conscious you're flat like straight across the the track the track not being able to see Mm -hmm. oncoming cars yeah i mean obviously luckily like stroll because did you hear stroll's race engineer speaking to him no so this is stroll's yellow ahead russell off to six yellow ahead yellow ahead yellow ahead danger he's in the track danger be careful, careful, careful. PSC, once you safety car, Delta positive. Yeah. Mm. So, like, he, he was, like, on it. This is what I was, like, saying to my mum earlier because I was saying about how scary the crash was. But I was, like, mm. the time that it takes for, like, the teams in their, like, garages to figure out that Russell's, like, stopped on track mm. to then have to, like, radio to the driver. For the driver to Like, it out. takes, like, so long. Mm. Well, I was, like... It should have been red flagged. It should have immediately been red flagged. Like, immediately. I haven't seen um, 
Who's this? Hockenberg? Double yellow, six, seven. Stay out. Get plus positive on Delta time. Russell's crashed. Right. Yeah, just okay. right in the middle of the track. <laughs> Mm. And then someone said um, on here, but what if the cars aren't that far behind? It was pure luck that George had a good gap to them. Yeah. Yeah. I 100%. mean, obviously, I don't want to. I mean, like fear monger. <laughs> yeah, I don't, but like, you know, it makes me think of like Uber. Antoine, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. And, and no just, doubt that George was like that panicked yeah, cause, you could, you because could of think that. Of that as well. Yeah. So I'm really, really glad that George is okay. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, I mean, to brighten the mood slightly, it is, uh, if I had a nickel for every time George Russell DNF'd and Carlos Sainz won a race, I'd have three nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened three times. <laughs> oh, George. <laughs> oh, George. Oh, George. He's really had a week of it. I mean, literally, I... I'm it's not... probably been the worst week of his life. Genuinely. Because I'm not, like, joking about, like, Kate Middleton having cancer, because obviously no. that was awful. Mm -hmm. But George did post about his story saying, wishing you and the family the very best, which kind of makes me laugh, because it does sound, sound like he's like... their cousin. Yeah. Um, But the fact that he's had that, and then... <laughs> that yeah. horrible crash as well. It's been a week for George. It has been a week. He needs a bath. Yeah, <laughs> he needs. You know what he needs? He needs a he needs a bath. Put a candle on. Yeah, have a little book. <laughs> he needs to go to bed. Have like a little, I don't mm. know, a little chamomile tea. Mm. Mm. Oh, gua sha. Do a little gua sha. Yeah, he I'm definitely gua sha. <laughs> how, how do you he think he gets that? Definitely does. <laughs> Fernando Alonso yeah. muse and he does the gua sha. Did you see that? Um, he walked past someone who didn't reply and then they said, he can't break his mewing streak. It's so true. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Did you see RBR Daily yes. posted yeah. against all odds? Max Verstappen takes ball. And then someone said against, are they odds in the room with yeah. us right now? Or like Max yeah. fighting the odds. And fighting the odds. Who broke Someone fighting? shadow boxing. <laughs> <laughs> Against all odds. <laughs> no, it's against all odds. Max was never DNFs. That's yeah. against all odds. That is actually against, against all odds. odds. <laughs> My God. Against all odds. Max was having DNFs two years after his last DNF. <laughs> he he DNFed like there'd been a Ferrari. Oh my god, there'd have been a Ferrari one too, like sooner than Max had like DNF'd, because there was a Ferrari one too in like Bahrain 2022, but Max hasn't DNF'd since. Mm, Max oh, DNF'd no. Australia 2022. So two years ago. Oh god. That's so long. Chaos, chaos, chaos. Oh, that reminds me of the, the tweet about um Leclerc asking for the full science special. What? You know that you know that picture of him in a um you know, when he got that ultrasound that everyone likes to use when they say he's pregnant with the next <laughs> yeah. World's Drivers' Championship, the remove everything doctor. And then someone said he wants the full science special. Please remove all my organs, please. I want to be lighter. <laughs> Fred Vasseur removing their organs to make them uh, go faster. Wait, I don't know which Sky Sports commentator it was, but they were like, he's lost... He, they said something like he's lost a couple of kilograms plus an appendix he yeah. said, they said something like that and I was like okay skinny queen yeah. <laughs> and then they were like well they have to be under 80 no they have to be 80 kilos plus their helmet yeah. and I was like oh, little skinny legends yeah. going on here in F1 <laughs> I couldn't could just could never be me to have no. to maintain weight like but oh could, my gosh I mean this is honestly like one of the things that might be very difficult for a woman entering an F1 mm. is because like weight fluctuates a lot more for women depending yeah. on like the point in the month yeah. So that's actually like a thing to think about. Mm -hmm. But Definitely. it's not a reason for women to not be in F1. No, we're not. We are not saying no. that. We are saying women should be in F1 and this should be a priority and be considered. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe Logan is on the same amount of points this week as uh, Max and Lewis. <laughs> Incoming world champion. <laughs> Logan Sargent, world champion vibes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was when the women in quali when someone said, who was it? When, the, when one of the commentators said that Logan was out in Q3 or something. <laughs> but he, but he Crofty. didn't. Crofty. Oh. Crofty, my boy. I love you, Crofty. But this was so savage. He, <laughs> he literally was like, I, I can't remember who was in the bottom five. That was bottom four, actually. But I can't remember who exactly it was. But then he was like, 
and rounding out the bottom five, Logan Sarge. <laughs> and I was so like, no, no he's can't. not even racing. You can't give him bottom five if he's not there. <laughs> That's like last, like two weeks ago, if they were like, and rounding out the bottom of like the F1 feature race is Ollie Behrman. Yeah. I mean, F2 feature race is Ollie <laughs> Behrman. You'd be like, no. Well, I'm so sad that there's not going to be any F2 now mm. until, when's the next one? Oof. No. Not very soon. God, right? let me have a look. I literally I looked at this earlier. First of all, the F two website. I'm sorry, but it's not very helpful at yeah. knowing when things are on. Yeah. I have to look at the Sky like planner because like when you go to it, it doesn't say the times in your. Oh, it's very sorry. It's frustrating. Sorry, whoever does the UX um mm-hmm. for the F two website, sort it out, please. Also, whoever does UX for the NBA app, <laughs> this is a general plea. <laughs> sort it out, please. <laughs> it's bad. Anyway, <laughs> Imola. No, I was going to say Imola, but mm-hmm. I didn't think it was going to be that far. That's two weeks after Miami. So. Well. Mm. At least we're busy. Should we have a little have F2? Let's chat about F2 before we run So I didn't watch any of it. So this is all stuff I've taken mm. from Twitter. Twitter. I watched. So I watched the highlights of Quali and then I watched the sprint. Mm-hmm. And then I watched half of the feature race yesterday. And then fell asleep, so then watched the highlights for the other half. But I really love F2. It's just so much more chaotic. Yeah. I can't, like, believe just how... And they're so bold with it. The way they'll, like, send some of the overtakes. Mm-hmm. Ollie Behrman in the feature race today, one of the first... When he overtakes in, like, the second lap or something, the way he just, like, fully sent it, I was like... Oh, in my <laughs> mouth. Glad he didn't drive like that, like, yeah. in, in F1. His I dad should be more like, nervous when he's in F2. Yeah, and they're all just like... Mm. <laughs> everywhere and i was like oh i can't take it <laughs> but yeah literal just absolute chaos it was one of my favorite things was um because my brother doesn't normally watch f2 mm-hmm. and then we were in abu dhabi uh and he watched the uh, f2 race oh was it? it was the f2 sprint he was like jesus they all just he said you can tell it's not f1 when they like all go into each other you know them trying <laughs> to pack into he said you think oh surely they can't pack into the first corner and they don't because they all just drive each other off the track. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, that's like F2. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's just it's just insane. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, crazy. Paul Aaron, P2, in the he, Drivers' Championship. He said, you're going to miss me, Mercedes. <laughs> he said, revenge arc. Yeah. He fully said, oh, look what you made me do. <laughs> Paul Aaron and his reputation now, right? He is. <laughs> I, um, I, yeah, I still, I forget about that. Mm. Mm. I, Kimmy getting in, because he got fourth in feature, didn't he? He DNF'd the sprint. Mm. Um, yeah, just missing off the podium, but he did well. Ollie, unfortunate about in quali, his timings of his laps yeah. were, like his flying lap timing, like unfortunate with the timings of the red flag. Yeah. Because um, I was really hoping he'd be able to get some points because it's very sad that he couldn't do anything with his pole yeah <laughs> uh from obviously last time but it is what it is what it is well why did you put pit lane start <laughs> did you not see it bro starting from the pit lane but this was his view <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was marky i forgot about that where that was the sprint yeah and the cars obviously like all went off like took each other out i can't remember who that is in front and then it was um <laughs> No, because that's is that that's Marty there in the wall, isn't it? Who's in, I don't who know. started in the pit lane? It, to be fair, when they changed the liveries for and they changed some of the team names, I know it's just it's... so confusing. Yeah, and I uh, he just is sitting in the pit lane, he looks <laughs> looking like, at it like he looks like a kid. <laughs> like that car, it's so funny because you can only see a back of a car. Yeah, but it it is funny how it does just look like a kid that's just like, well, <laughs> well what happened? Literally, why can't I go? <laughs> <laughs> There's a steward on the side, guys. Just take a picture. Literally. <laughs> Bearman still with more points in a I, I know. I know. That is that's legend. That's, a that's legendous behavior. That is a slay. I love that from you, Ollie Bearman. Mm-hmm. Gorgina. You Because he's in girl. like 18th in the F2 standing. <laughs> he's like top 10 in F1. <laughs> keep, keep it that way. You never know. Yeah. With the way that Alpine and like Sauber and that are going, yeah. you never know. Haas pulling out like two oh my point gosh, finishes. I know, crazy. They really are having a, having a good time. I still can't believe Haas were literally like, we are going to be bottom. <laughs> and then Alpine are like, 
Yeah. Bring in a spoon. <laughs> bring in a sp- no, bring in a baguette. Oh, no, what is it? <laughs> bring in a baguette to a knife fight or a gunfight or something. What? You know, oh, oh it was Will Buxton said that they not even bring in a knife. a spoon to a knife fight. They're not, they didn't, it's not a knife to a gunfight. Gun fight. They're it's bringing a spoon. A spoon. <laughs> and I just, they're bringing a baguette. <laughs> You're talking about Alpine. <laughs> I, I confused it with when somebody said um, the car turns on when you hit it with a baguette. <laughs> I, I confused Who that. car? The Alpine. Okay. The tractor turns on when you hit it with a baguette. <laughs> oh, oh my, my God. gosh. <laughs> but, I mean, for F2, I mean, our ex-F2 king, Frederick Vesti, was sitting mm-hmm. in the garage with Lewis, unfortunately. Um, and he was looking at George a little bit. <laughs> At one point during the weekend, yeah. When will your appendix burst? <laughs> he's like, he's like slowly like giving a little prod. And yeah, like, that's looking a bit sore, mate. Maybe you should get it checked out. <laughs> their their actual reserve driver Mick is looking on at Vesti, being like, "Excuse, Excuse me, me. <laughs> I forget where Vesti fits in." No, I, d- I think he's their development driver. I think um, he's like their they are for the clear. Me because I don't know any of the development drivers. <laughs> Me when I got super happy that Arthur was the development driver and then being like, wait, that's the development that's driver not, too. That's not the reserve. Well, I literally, yeah, I literally was like, I don't, I couldn't tell you another development driver. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. All the way. That, so we were saying earlier how Arthur's been announced, obviously that he's driving an Elms. And um, I saw some people being like, oh, like driving an Elms, like <laughs> going from he's F2 fallen to off. Elms, he's fallen off. And I literally was like, Vesti. Frederick Vesti, who is runner up with it. Vesti can do no wrong. He's also <laughs> driving it out. Like. <laughs> and it's just like, oh, I mean, I love that for you, Arthur. Don't let them, don't let the haters get you down. <laughs> oh my God, speaking, um, speaking further of Arthur Leclerc. Uh, <laughs> Not again. Speaking further of Arthur Leclerc, there was a girl who put out a video that was on about how they, she saw him in Monaco. And she saw him at a club in Monaco and she was trying to get a video of him without trying to make oh it obvious. Gosh. And she literally was <laughs> and she literally was like, Oh no, don't make it obvious, whatever. And I commented on her TikTok saying, um, oh my god, girl, this happened to me. I and I put the video up and he saw it and he liked the video. And she was like, Oh my god, no way. And I didn't expect that comment to now have hundreds of likes. But then people have been going to my page to try and find the video. Liar. And they're like, You liar, you lying bitch. That's not the account. I commented it on like my normal account. You were like, I said no digital footprint. <laughs> yeah, I literally was like, uh, this account has nothing to do with F1. Yeah. Um, I will not be giving it out uh, <laughs> on my normal account. And then uh, I was like, commented back saying, guys, it's on like that RX F1 account. Mm. And then, but that account, but people's, you know, no, they don't they see that see comment. Well. Uh, so people do think I'm lying. Yeah. Um, I'm not lying. <laughs> Uh, I am just warning her that Arthur Leclerc does actually see videos of him. Mm-hmm. Who knows how many, but definitely that one. <sighs> I think about that every mm. day and I never know whether to be happy or really fucking embarrassed. So I'm just choosing to be happy. It's the same way with what happened with Joe from McLaren <laughs> when you were like, was it you or Becca that was like, if I were you, I would have just never uh, commented yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I, when I commented saying, I'm really sorry for being awkward when I met you, and he just said, haha, no worries, it was funny. And then, was it you that was like, now you have confirmation? Was yeah. It like, yeah. Now you have confirmation that he remembers that. Yeah. And I would have just like, convinced myself that he doesn't he, know what you're on about. It. Yeah. But now I have confirmation that I will. Um, I'll see you again, Joe. I'll make up for it. I'll be just as awkward. And I'll be I'll like, yeah. I'll see you again one day, Joe. I'll see you again one day, Joe. And I'll be like, hey, it's me. Remember that girl who's really awkward talking to you, you on the You just have to keep gym? bringing it up to him. So like, when he's at the point where he might forget, he has to remember. He has to remember me being like, you know what? I'm owning it. It was awkward, okay? I didn't know what to do with myself. In like, like 20 years, he's like, please stop please making stop. me remember. Yeah. Like, well, I just rather forget that night. Yeah. All I did, guys, was just give him a handshake when I was at a party when I should have just given him a hug but I just don't know how to interact with people because physical (laughs) affection is not something that I just tend to do Mm -hmm. so it is what it is it's the same as I will never live down my Ollie Bim in awkwardness (laughs) as brought up last week Jesus Christ I I would yeah I think I'm glad that I had like no interaction with him as opposed to your just standing there in silence while he was like talking to this toddler. <laughs> I just I can't believe I did that still. Every time I think about it, I'm like, 
but then I think about what would I have done differently and I'm like well I wouldn't have interrupted him and I didn't want to walk away because then like I would have been like oh shit I could have asked for a picture instead now I know that I didn't get one Mm. and that I was just standing a little bit too far away but there we are you live and you learn you live with your regrets um I don't know what I'd do differently if I ever saw him again anyway. So it is what it is. Just talking about that makes me remember when I like somehow spotted Arthur Leclerc with in like the back of the garage with the door How? open. We were like walking How? past, I was like, Arthur Leclerc. And like, I was like, you no. went, like, where? No, like, it's not. No. Where? No. And I was like, look, you got to get in this angle. You got to look through the door. Like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and it was also, we didn't, we didn't even know we were at the back of the pit two, like no. the, the F2 pit lane. We didn't. we didn't even know. So you were like, Arthur Leclerc. And I was like, no, you're lying. You are lying. You are lying to me. It's not Arthur Leclerc. And then you were like, no, Lucy, if you do this. And then literally was like, and I had my fucking, I had my um, disposable camera. And I'm getting the, I'm getting the fucking evidence. <laughs> I'm fine, I'm fine here. I had my... <laughs> I had my she got receipts. receipts. This is Arthur McClare um, from, from when I sat um, side, side stage of the F2. <laughs> <of> the <laughs> it's the top one. Side st- that's on my film camera. Side stage of the F2. Uh, what's it called? Uh, a Q&A. Thing. When Q&A I sat next thing. to Arthur McClare's girlfriend. I didn't even realise. I was like, Becca was like, can we sit here? She's like, yeah. And then we just sit there and we're just like chilling. Um, but I really want to find this picture. It was just like, that was like the first time since we'd been there where we were like, wait, these people are just like here. It's just here. Do you know what I mean? around, yeah. And it was, it was ju- this was just after the Oscar Lando fans on interaction as well. Jesus Christ. I mean, we'll never not bring these, this, these things up. It's going to be in here. It's it's gonna be it's in here. gonna be in here because I why did I I I took a film photo of it I had time to pro, pro, like pose yeah. here it is <laughs> this that's his girlfriend yeah I didn't catch it like. I don't know which way to put this. <laughs> I didn't catch it soon enough. It's through this door, guys. But this is what I mean by Amy just spotted. It, I don't. Like, I don't know how I. Do you know what I mean? Like I don't know how I, I just know, kind of like how you knew it was him. Yeah, straight away. Straight away. Mm-hmm. Well, Becca thought it was. Becca thought it was sad that by the end of the weekend, when we were standing, um, like about to go into like the back of the paddock bit by the yards. Yeah. We were like standing on the bridge, and I literally was like, "Arthur oh, Leclerc's coming. He's down there. He's coming up the stairs." And she was like, "What?" He's like, that person's like three hundred ish meters away, <laughs> and I was like, "It's gonna be Arthur Leclerc, like guarantee." And it was. He walked past. I actually didn't look at him again. And one of those times, I just couldn't look at him. Didn't make eye <laughs> because I felt like I was stalking him because this was like what the fifth time I'd seen him that weekend. <laughs> so I was like, I can't. Even he'd know. already liked your TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> By that point, he'd already seen my stories, like my TikTok. My foot had already got reposted to a fan page. My photos got reposted to a fan page as well. I can't believe that. Oh my god. Oh, the Leclerc with a fan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I still got a name. Fan? <laughs> at an abominable and I was like oh, they're saying it as if I'm like famous and then you're <laughs> it's because they like didn't they screenshot your TikTok yeah. or something as for mine was it was on my they, Instagram they tagged me in it on Instagram but they just called you a fan. but they called me a they called me a fan and they're like brackets like from at account and I was like um, yeah, but that account is me, me. <laughs> I just found that absolute that absolutely made me giggle so hard I can't even it's honestly that entire weekend feels like a, a fat fever yeah. dream still to this point when it's like what five months ago it feels I like such a fever like... dream to me as well because then like on the monday morning when i was like ah, oh, now i can relax you were like i'm on my flight home bye yeah <laughs> and i was like what the fuck you were yeah. like yeah i got up before now i'm on the plane i'm, on the plane. And I'm back in the uk and now and i was and like in work uh... <laughs> literally it was like the most like crazy thing and then i had people in work being like Boyfriend. That's your boyfriend. Every time it's my boyfriend too. Yeah. <laughs> yes, our boyfriend. <laughs> is it? Because to be fair, I was like, they'd never seen Sam. And I was like, they don't look that dissimilar. <laughs> As in, like, I mean, people who'd seen a passing glance at Sam would have just been like, okay, white boy, brown, <laughs> brown hair, kind of skinny, like, you know, tallish. Um, they don't look alike in mm. any feature. No. But it's that kind of thing where you think, oh, white boy. Yeah. Well, well, we're forgetting that it wasn't Abu Dhabi this weekend. 
I know. Literally, I could, we just keep every now and then just go on an Abu Dhabi tangent. But I mean, we I feel like we we it brings the vibes. It to brings the chat. Vibe. And I yeah. Mean, uh, why would I ever? I mean, we paid enough money to be there. I'm never I'm not talking about it. <laughs> we paid enough money to just oh, get a passing of... glance. <laughs> I actually am wearing my Yas Marina t shirt as well. <laughs> um, yeah, to get our brief interaction. Yeah. It reminds me of this weekend seeing all the fan interactions, though, to bring it back to the place mm-hmm. of this weekend. And obviously, we had uh, Anna, the Australian Anna, getting the iconic like Beyonce from George. I'm not saying mm-hmm. a big, I'm not saying it says Beyonce. Uh, it's in, oh me i got the quote wrong sorry guys (laughs) beyonce um yeah anyway and uh, we were saying though how the dedication to do that is rough because you have to like have that obviously pre-planned before Mm. you go in and then you have to use your time that you're meeting them to like do the content i know that she was like there as like she was invited there i think by puma Mm. like she so like she was there to like kind of create the content so it was a bit different yeah but i'm like geez that is that isn't I couldn't imagine those times that we have met like any of the drivers I couldn't imagine being like so could you yeah please do this content for me I would just be like too starstruck oh yeah like no when way. we were, when we had the thing with them the McLaren boys mm. we like couldn't not, like yeah. nothing was nothing came yeah, out of no. my mouth nothing of cohesive like no. nature came out of my mouth I mean I know that was like um planned <laughs> um, but like ra- in front of hundreds of people yeah but like even if i was just going to like a meet and greet i don't think i'd be able to get my words out no because like when i asked arthur for a photo she's like can i have a photo too please and thank you i literally can't believe, I mean? yeah i can't believe i didn't say more words i was like sorry i said sorry i started with <laughs> sorry can i have a photo that's the most british thing ever yeah um but no i literally completely i also want to know i need to message kimmy to be like what did you say to george like because i know you engaged in conversation with him what did you say yeah what could you possibly like what can come out of your mouth Mm. That's of cohesive nature. N- n- his cohesive nature. Cohesive nature. Sorry. Also, thinking about Paul Aaron being P two in the championship does remind me again. Sorry about Abu Dhabi. We will stop yap yap yapping about <laughs> it and bring it back to a place of current day. Um, but it reminds me of walking through the pit lane and being like, "That looks like Paul Aaron." You were like, "Yeah." You were like, "That looks like Paul that Aaron." That guy looks. And like I Paul convinced Aaron. myself that it wasn't. Yeah. I was like, "No, it just looks like I just him." Kept why at why him. would he be sat there on a golf cart, like yeah. in the F two pit lane? Uh, no, that's not him. <laughs> Why would he be in the F2 pit lane? Why would F2 driver Paul Aaron be in the F2 pit lane? Uh, he was F3 back then. No, but he, well, he raced at F2 that weekend. Did he? Yeah, he was filling in. That's what I swear to God. <gasps> I swear to God. I know, I should look it up. Probably. You know more than me. Tried to have confirmed that Paul Aaron will race at the team at the final round of the 2023 season in See, Arena. I love that in F2 and F3, they're just like, you come in and have a go. You come in and have a go. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Like, they should just do that. Take the car for a spin. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's what they did do with Ollie Bearman. <laughs> yeah, but like, and not it was out fun. of choice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. But so speaking of absolutely cackling, did you see somebody made a TikTok saying your name reading at the Grand Prix, hoping Daniel would yes. to say as he drives past? The top the comment, comment. At the pace he drives, he might have seen. And we'll leave it at that. <laughs> they really went in on him. Yeah. I haven't watched the Chicken Shop date. Oh, I have. How is it? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. I just absolutely love their interaction since. Um, yeah. Um, Amelia commenting uh, after he got the... Was it after he got the podium? Yeah. Or when he got his uh, quali. I don't know. Anyway. He was flabbergasted in the Chicken Shop day. By what? Because... Um, she said something like, oh, I imagine it gets hot in your car. Mm. And he was like, yeah. And then she went, even hotter if I was in there. And he literally went like, uh, like that. Like he literally like stopped and like bit his lip. This confirms my theory that I feel like, <laughs> it confirms my theory that he's just like a standard ass British boy. Yeah, no, 100%. That, like he can be rizzed up real easy. Mm-hmm. And like, like people are like, oh my God, yeah, like, like he he's so like he'd be so good at flirting i'm like mm, i still think lando no riz like, yeah she she's but she's great with everyone oh yeah i love amelia i love she her she is and people will be like i know that i'm gonna get my heart broken by seeing him like fall in love with her i'm like oh no it's no, great time yeah. seeing everybody fall in love with her mm-hmm. jesus christ her and andrew garfield oh the chemistry oh my god if i had even an ounce of like her charisma mm-hmm. i would have made it in life and the funniest thing is, is that she like markers herself on being like awkward. Yeah, she's not awkward at all. No, she's pure confidence. Yeah, and like fantastic. And she gorgeous. is amazing. And I love her so much. Mm-hmm. And she commented, "My guy" on his Instagram, and he commented back saying, "My boo." I love it. I just, uh, yeah, 
I feel like it just absolutely flabbergasts men when they think that like a girl who isn't like supermodel pretty can like raise them up. Because mm. she's like, she's really pretty she as well. Is really People pretty. like really massively like dim it down yeah. and being like, oh, it's because she's funny. I'm like, and she's also really pretty. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. She's a 10, no personality's a 10. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, Jesus. But oh my God. <laughs> what? Oh, well, first of all, okay, so first of all, I want to say about, did you see like Prima supporting yes. Oscar when he got on the car? It's so cute. I love Prima like as a team. I love them. They're so cute. like when they supported Ollie. Oh, it's just so. Nice. And then Ollie, oh, Ollie in the drivers' parade. Yeah. And he's like, Sorry, it's my team, and that's how it feels like an Oscar. It's so cute. <laughs> We're an hour in. Should we finally get to the Instagram suggestions? Oh yes, let's actually. We have one. We have one. Well, we what? don't have one. We had loads, but they but... were they were all about talking about. The race. the race this one was actually a little bit different um saturn.jpg wanted us to talk about max's comments on the williams situation where he said he would crash the car so no one could drive or something like that um <laughs> that I and mean, i just thought yeah, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> i mean like i just i have max is just never filtered and no. i absolutely love it please yeah. never ever filter what he says <laughs> um i'm just like fair fair enough i'm glad that logan didn't yeah uh because that would have been really salty yeah but and also wouldn't really help logan's i mean max would probably do that because he could at this point yeah but i don't think logan could get away with that <laughs> i don't think that yeah i think the next race logan would not be in that seat yeah <laughs> so did you see Zac Efron was in the Red Bull garage? No. Okay. Oh, because you didn't. Oh, you didn't. You saw the race highlights. Yeah. He was in the Red Bull garage. And What's he doing in Australia? I don't. He films like a show out there. I think he really likes Australia. Good for um, him. Good for him. But the main thing I had to say was he was wearing a Red Bull hat, but somebody hadn't taken the barcode off of the underneath Aww. of the cap, and it absolutely made me piss that he's sitting there with a barcode. Let me see if anyone else has picked this up. On the underneath of his. I would have never even realised that was him. I literally, I could walk past him in the street and be like... Oh. And I wouldn't know a thing. Oh my god, here he is. <laughs> the underside of his cap has still got a barcode on. Um, it's not one of those... Poor guy. Sam was like, is this one of those things where they keep the sticker on to show like that it's authentic? No, I was like, no that's literally that's a, barcode. a barcode. <laughs> it cuts to him literally like this. Fucking stickers, man. And I was like, Oop. somebody didn't take that off. <laughs> How has he not noticed that? That would like be in his eye line. Yeah, literally, <laughs> right there. Yeah. Right. Well, I'd like to know what Logan Sargent updates the goats. <laughs> is it's in our notes, and I don't know what that so, means. So you know Logan Sargent updates on Twitter? No. You don't know Logan Sargent updates? No. I you are you the, are joking. I don't think I'm in the right space for Logan Sargent updates. They are literally the goats, hence why the note literally just says the goats. Okay. <laughs> if they're the goats, why don't you follow them? Because unfortunately Elon Musk has made a good for you page on Twitter, so I get all their um, tweets anyway. My laptop is about to die. Jesus Christ. Not die, but just fucking overheat. It's gonna take off. It's literally about to fly away. It said like no, no more updates for this weekend, and then this was the video they put up. <laughs> what the fuck is a spare chassis? <laughs> and they do this type of like video for every race, so like every update. I love it. It's it, they're literally the goats. I didn't realize they retweeted all this stuff because I don't follow them, so I only see what they actually post. Um, but then, like, yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's just the way that, like, when he was like not. <laughs> when he was not driving and it was just what the fuck is this yeah. messy? I and like it. when when it was I was just like when he DNF'd and stuff last year, it would cut just be like DNF. <laughs> I need to try and find I just love the like three different audios it starts playing and it makes it be like, where's it coming from? It makes me feel like I've clicked on five tabs at once. 
I love, I love this account. Whoever Logan, Logan Sarge, whoever wants Logan Have you Logan seriously Sarge never seen it. this account? No, I've seen them um, Piastri updates. <laughs> I've, I've seen like whoever some runs this account. I want you on the podcast. <laughs> oh my god! Please, please, please! Can we have whoever runs Logan Sargent updates? We want you on the pod. <laughs> we want to know your thoughts. You're process. literally like my favorite account, and you I... are Amy's favorite content creator. I will follow you. <laughs> I will. <laughs> I will actually follow you if you come on the pod. Right. Well, I mean, we've talked so much about Australia. It's insane. Are we going to do this week in F1 history? Welcome to my new segment. <laughs> For all you OG listeners, Fast Facts is coming back. Yippee! It's making a comeback. On the weeks that there are no races, I'm going to do this week in F1 history. So obviously Australia's done. We are and done there's those. now no race this week. Very sad. Yeah. Very unfortunate. So... For the last week of March, I have some history. I, lo- I love this. I literally was like, can we bring back Fast Facts just simply because one thing I really liked last year was getting to just mass consume a bunch of facts about each race. Mm. And because we didn't start the pod until Miami last year, yeah. and we actually didn't start the actual pod until June, Yeah, but because we didn't start talking about like the clips and stuff. The first actual pod, what race would that have been? Like Sp- Spain? Spain, maybe? I think it was Spain. So like all the first like 10 races of the mm. season, we don't have any knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have any, like, we don't have like the basic like history, like facts about yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. For those of you who knew we, like when we did first Fast Facts and a lot of the time Amy would come in with the Fast Facts and it would then mean that we like, we knew about uh, like, not just like the laps and the lap yeah. times and the records and stuff. We also had like a little bit of history about it. And yeah. I absolutely love like regurgitating those facts. And mm. I still remember the ones that we did for like those middle lot of races. And then we kind of dropped off doing it when we start talking a lot more about memes. Yeah. <laughs> um, kind of after summer break. Yeah. After the summer break, we kind of stopped like doing it because we went to Zanville and then just never picked it back up. So there's like a few races that I don't have facts for and I really want to know. Yeah. Now I also want to know what was our, what was the first episode? Oh, Canada. So our first episode, we didn't talk about a race. There mustn't have been a race that week. Right. And then the second episode was about Canada in mm. June, middle of June. But the first race that we ever talked about was Miami because we yeah. recorded clips we recorded before clips we for recorded that. a full podcast. <laughs> we were like, we're just going to record little gonna... videos. Yeah, little, little videos in the car. <laughs> so 25th of March on this day in 1984, Ayrton Senna made his F1 debut. <gasps> Mm, oh, that's a big one. That is a big one. We're starting off these mm-hmm. F, like F, this. To be, oh my god, we're starting these off are really F1 good. History. I hope these continue like at this level. Yeah, for like the whole season. Yeah, <laughs> it was his home race in Brazil. Was he his... he retired after eight laps. <laughs> but that was his debut. Yeah, his debut was his home race in Brazil. Mm-hmm. And it was also our favorite Martin Brundle's debut. <gasps> Let's Make go, Martin, Martin B. B! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So that's tomorrow. That is tomorrow. We will celebrate tomorrow. We will celebrate. We will think of you, Hitton Senna. And we'll think of you, Marty B. Yeah, and you, Marty B. (laughs) The 26th. On this day in 1941, Lella Lombardi was born. Our queen, Our queen, Lella Lombardi. Again, she was in Fast Facts. Mm, yeah. She was in like our OG Fast Facts. Yeah, maybe? she was. Yeah. I think so. Yes. The Our last queen. Woman to score points in an F1 car. And I looked her up a little bit because I realised I didn't really know much about her. Um, And I actually found out that she passed away in 92. Yeah. From breast cancer. Yeah. So we are thinking of you. Um, She was also like the first one of the first um racing drivers to be in like a same sex relationship as well yeah so she you're a paving, queen absolute queen that's yeah. called Gina behavior paving the way multiple ways yeah that is uh car chats approved mm-hmm. we love uh, a queer racing driver queen yeah fantastic fantastic, fantastic. i couldn't fantastic. sound more like a straight old white guy <laughs> We love that queer queen. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Jumping ahead to the 28th of March in 1976, 
it was the first American Grand Prix in Long Beach, California. This is one for you, Logan. <laughs> but America, fuck yeah. <laughs> I, was, I just thought the interesting part from that was that it was in Long Beach. Yeah. I'm like in nineteen in a car park or <laughs> just seventy six. Seventy six. Yeah, in a car park, just like Miami. Just like Miami. I think it was a street circuit, if I remember. Just like Miami. Like... <laughs> mm, I hope this was a real street circuit. Yeah. <laughs> Probably our favorite one from this list: the 29th of March, two thousand and nine, Braun's debut in the Australian Grand Prix. Ooh. And their debut one two. Oh, I haven't. I haven't watched the program, mate. You got to. It's but amazing. We did. We did start the um, the book. We did start Ross Braun's book. So Braun was the first team to get a one two on debut since Mercedes in 1951, I think. Jeez. So, wow. Yeah, they uh, crazy. It's a crazy, crazy story. If you haven't watched the documentary, you mm. need to. It's like I feel like everyone knows about. Braun yeah. and like what they did that year, but you like you need to watch the documentary to like fully comprehend it because it's absolutely insane. That. And obviously Braun become our like modern day Mercedes. So my Braun, Braun fuck yeah, <laughs> literally. <laughs> and then my final one. This is actually really funny. On the thirty first of March in two thousand two, it was the Brazil Grand Prix, and they thought what what better than Pele doing the checkered flag. Right? So yeah. they're like, yeah, great PR, great, you know. So, you know, he was up there being shown, you know, how to do it, whatever. And while they were explaining it, they didn't realize that Michael Schumacher had gone across the line to win, and that Ralph Schumacher had gone across the line, his brother had to come second, and he hadn't waved the checkered flag. <laughs> so it was only by the third driver to cross the line that he started waving it. Oh, no. <laughs> And uh, oh. Michael Schumacher joked over the radio that Pele must be so short because he couldn't see Pele waving the checkered flag. <laughs> oh my god, that is, oh my god, that is great. <laughs> I thought that was a fun one. Yeah. It's also funny because like, so ESPN just have like a list of every date and all the interesting things on each date. And they like noted that as the interesting part of that. Not that like Michael and Ralph, like brothers, one, one two. two. It was like they <laughs> noted that Pele. Pele forgetting to wave the checkered flag was the best part of that race. <laughs> Not the brother one two. <laughs> oh my god, that's I'd, I'd hate that. Oh, Stealing the thunder, like it's like Oscar Piastri winning a sprint race. Max yeah. Verstappen wins the championship. So. <laughs> yeah. That's that vibe. So that's all of the this week this in week F1, F1 history. history. They were good ones. I love it. Snaps. Snaps. I, I absolutely love that. I mm. we are definitely I mean, I'm gonna be sad that we're not doing this segment on the weeks that we have races. Maybe we should like Maybe we should. Maybe we should. Maybe we should. <laughs> Let us know guys if you, if you got this far in the pod and you yeah. like this bit. Then um yeah, do do let us know because I'd quite like to double them up, do both. Yeah. Do both. Do them both. Oh my god. Did you see Duolingo? I saw that they've started to go a bit... Go a bit nuts over F1. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they tweeted Verstappen, do you need a streak freeze? He does. He does. He needs a do-over. Yeah. Did you also see that they did the incident? No. Yeah, they oh, used Duolingo. that sound. Oh, oh yeah, they used it for them. I thought yeah. you meant they used it for the Grand Prix. I was like, that's a bit insensitive because Max did <laughs> left. <laughs> That's like there's a tweet going around of people being like Charles laughing at Max's <laughs> DNF, and I was like, he's not. He laughed because one of them, um, I think Lando or something, made a joke about, uh, I don't know, something about like something coming out of his car, and someone said like, oh, it ex I think someone, one of them said it exploded, and then he laughed at that, and everyone's like, he he, he's laughing because Max DNF. I was like, God, this is how fake news spreads. <laughs> like <laughs> Oh my god, that's that's the cool down room. I my least favorite thing about the cool down room is when the audio slightly cuts out for a bit. Mm. You know when you could hear them and then they fade it out and I'm yeah. like, turn it back off, turn it back off. And then they like slowly turn it back off. It was like in Saudi when it was like, what Charles? What were yeah. you gonna say? Oh my god, when he was like, and the thing is, yeah. he said like it was something like that, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, it was so like I can't believe that. I can't believe that. And then it was like podium and it's like what Charles? <laughs> what did you? What can't you believe? <laughs> well, I literally, and we'll never know. Yeah, and we'll never know. But that also reminds. That also makes me think about how they put the cars like in the fucking tunnel mm. today, and I was like, the fans can't see any of the drivers, and fucking Gunther Steiner and Charles's little what? 
<laughs> them two trying to converse is just <laughs> I, I was like is that is english their most common language is going to spanish speak french i know that charles they've probably speak got German. a common language they must have another common language but they've got to speak in english haven't they for the broadcast yeah. i just Bless find them. it so funny when it what charles little and it reminds me of that clip that everybody loves to use of him in edits where he's like yeah a little that one like that i just really wish he'd get rid of the goatee <laughs> it's not for me it's not for me <laughs> I don't understand how you have facial hair in your balaclava anyway, like Kevin Magnusson. Yeah. It must like, really like get itchy. Yeah, hot mm. and itchy. Well. Well. On that note. <laughs> my, i got one more thing. Have you been keeping up with our F1 Fantasy League? Oh my god, no. <laughs> I haven't. I haven't even checked my team. Oh my god, what is so it? So we have 722 people in our Fantasy League, which I cannot believe. I can't believe that. And obviously... <laughs> I'm, you know, one of the founders of this podcast. <laughs> As one of the founders of this podcast. And I'm currently in 690th place. <gasps> where am I? I saw a tweet today, like, uh, obviously after the race happened or whatever, where someone was like, just remembered I had Max Verstappen with the DRS boost in my team. And I was like, oh my God. I had Max in my Me team. too. <laughs> oh my God. They really need to make this more intuitive. I know, again, it's so another bad. plea it's so for bad. better and then UI. Then you have to go like pinned or whatever. This is again better UI. I genuinely am struggling. Oh yeah, oh. one of my teams is four hundred fifty first. Yeah. One of my teams is five hundred fifty seventh out of seven hundred twenty two. So us as founders of this league, um, who is our top? Yeah, you can you can look at it. Oh, we need to do a um. We need to do a post. Ooh, Where's Ferrari my... friends. Ooh, you are Ferrari winning. Ferrari friends. Oh my gosh. 767 Mate, points. I've got like 200 points. Oh my god, I've got 377. I absolutely love some of these names though. Drain covers worse fear. You'll love my name. You gotta scroll down to 700 though to find it. Am I really gonna do this? <laughs> oh, it wasn't that long. Oh. Oh. I can't get past 500. <laughs> I put mine as let there be room. <laughs> oh, let there be room. That is that's cute. I um I called mine Anorex F one just because I couldn't because I didn't know I didn't know that was gonna be my, my team name. I thought yeah. it was gonna be like my name. Um and then I created <laughs> another team and it's just called Two Anna Two Furious. <laughs> my one last year was James It's Valtteri. Oh <laughs> Um yeah, so shout out Ooh Ferrari friends. And also Ilium Two and Horner for Wolf. for being our top three <laughs> well i think well, we've talked for long enough I mean, my, my cat's yapping off. i see yap a yap arenas over here mm-hmm. oh my gosh this is what happens when we don't have a dance comp so we actually have energy <laughs> <laughs> us last week dead dead in the water dead earlier arrival. you were like i need to have a coffee I need to be awake and she's like gonna have to i was like i've been waiting all day for this one <laughs> turn it up <laughs> you can follow us on all of the social media platforms <laughs> at car chats f1 and if you want to buy us a coffee then uh we're changing our patreon to free because we're, uh, as we say every week we're busy cows we're busy so we've it's been neglecting hard. it it's yeah, not fair so. it's not fair so but on paid yeah so it's free to join for any of the members also don't forget to like comment on our instagram stuff if you want to see us talk about anything in particular you can find me on instagram at anabominable on tiktok at anorexf1 and i will start posting there again soon after a little break um and twitter at anorexf1 and you can find me on instagram tiktok and twitter at amyxf1 but yeah we'll see you guys in the next one enjoy your week off though yeah. it does seem I'm not going to enjoy week at all. My mum was like, God, they're really easing us back into this, aren't they? Yeah. They are. Sad times. But we'll see you next one. Bye! Bye.